Hello and welcome back. This is Goshen and we are doing Star Made tutorials. This episode we just finished mining an asteroid outside the base and what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you what to do with that. So head back in our base. Now if you want to move faster we have these um, ship core. You hit the space bar. You throw on. Uh, I, usually keep, I usually keep a power reactor right here and a thruster right there so you can easily put the ship together. So you can zip in here faster and then exit and pick it back up. Well, I'll just leave it there because we'll get back in. So we've picked up... Oh no! we got to go back in our ship. I forget that this ship is linked. I <laughs> just closed the door on my ship. Just close the door on my ship again. This ship has, if you're wondering where all your stuff is, storages. So to get that working, what you do is you select the salvage computer. Man, that put me outside the ship. That's hilarious. Okay, so you select the salvage computer with C, and it's going to show you that, oh, hello. I just hit the space bar to align to the ship, so right side up. These storages are linked to the salvage, so anything with salvage is going to go in these boxes and not my inventory. So I'm going to pull this stuff out of here. It's usually only in one box. Yeah. Let's hop back in our scooter. And zip back in here. Alright, so now that we've got some materials, we're going to put them in the capsule refinery. We've got picked up Chabaz, which came from the asteroid. That's going to produce Chabaz capsules. We picked up some ice, which is not useful right now, and then sapson ore and parsine shards. You put those in there, and bang, there they go. They're making alloy metal mesh, crystal composite, and capsules. Now, to craft things, what you're going to do is you're going to go to, say, like the basic factory. Because we have some alloy metal mesh and crystal composite, we can start making things. So we go to the basic factory and we change production right here. And in production, we can click on this down arrow. It's going to show us everything we can make in the basic factory. Now I happen to know the things we can, can make that are useful with alloy metal mesh are, say, reactor. Uh, let's do a core. We need some more cores. Ship core. So let's do that and they activate. Now you'll notice that it is producing one ship core. It takes 25 crystal composite, 25 alloy metal mesh. How many do we have so far? Well, 100. So it's only making a few at a time. Now if I hit C and I link in uh, with V some of these, these uh, factory enhancers, you'll notice that it's going a lot faster, which is great. That makes they can use it to make your factories faster. I can't get to that one down there. If I had a build block, I could. Let's see what it takes to make a build block. I believe that is in advance. Let's see. I type build here and then drop down. There it is. It's advanced. So we click OK. Now it's trying to produce it and nothing's happening. Let's find out why. Click on view production. It says we need bastion capsules and fertkin capsules, which we don't have. So I'm going to deactivate production, which is really important if you're on a planet start and you have very limited power, you're going to want to deactivate anything you're not using, um, like the micro assembler or things like that. But here on a space station where we have 21 million power, we're not worried about it at all. So we are ready to, I can pick up some scrap, I guess. Oh, from scrapping that wall. I got some white lights too. Let's get those in here because this uh, blue is a little buggy on the eyes, I think. Personally, I like it, but uh, I like to be able to see what color my factories and things are, which is nice. There we go. That's better. Okay, so got some more scraps. We'll put it in here. Let's cut back in our scooter and go mining in a planet. Now you can take these apart in build mode, however, when you ha there's a bug right now where if you take it apart in build mode while you have that warn me message on, it puts you back where you started. So I'd be back in the station right now, which is annoying. 
All right, so hit P. Uh, first, we're going to get radar jammer on. We're going to hit P, and there's a purple planet, a red planet, a desert planet, and a ice planet. No green planets in the system. Okay. So let's go ahead. That is a derelict delta, which is right by the purple, So because we already bent there. So let's go to purple. We know that's safe. So let's go there. Plot path and jump with our primary jump drive. We get here, hit N, it is safe, so I'm going to hit P, or hit, I'm going to go to Radar Jammer at 9 and turn that off and start charging my jump drive again. Now you want to keep your jump drive charged whenever you are doing mining things because then if something comes into the system like a pirate, you can get away. Alright, so say if I were to go, if I was to do a planet start and not a station start and I want to apply this to my faction module, one way to remember always to where you place the faction module, if you hit C to align yourself to the universe and always place the module on that side of the planet where the C is, then you are going to know how to find it again. Oh, that was a mistake. I was going to try to salvage, but I went ahead and jumped. Check a quick look around. There's nothing here, so we're safe. I'm going to charge the jump drive and head back back to that planet. That was silly. No. Yep, there's our planet right there. I'm looking at it from a distance. Charging that jump drive back up. Okay, jumping back to it. Going to take a look around again with N. Still nothing there. All right, so yeah, so if I hit C and align myself to the planet, and then go to that side and that I'm facing the planet with C on, then you know always know how to find your faction module again and what side not to mine, because if you mine your faction module, then you won't be claimed anymore. So I am carefully going back to the salvage and start mining. <laughs> 